Hi, welcome to Virgin Virtual. I'm Jenny and I'll help you with your first steps, from booking your flight via VAMSIS to taking off in the simulator. Let's start on our dashboard. In the top menu bar, you will find the Flight Center tab. Open it and click on Book Flight. You are now on our booking card. Here you can see your current location as well as all the airports available from your position. These are marked in light blue. The red markers with a star inside are event airports. The remaining red markers are airports which are served by other operators such as Virgin Australia. Now, click on your desired destination. Optionally, you can also search for your airport on the left-hand side. You can also filter by a specific aircraft type. Once you have found your flight, simply click on the Book Flight button. Here you are in the Dispatch options. Here you can select your desired registration. You then have the option of selecting your online network, that is IVO, VATSIM, etc. The shared cockpit option is also available here if you are flying with friends in a shared cockpit. Extra points are awarded for both. Once you have entered everything, simply click on Dispatch via SimBrief below to generate your flight with SimBrief. When everything has loaded, you will see your flight information. On the left side, you can now open your SimBrief PDF file. Perfect, you've just booked your first flight. Now let's take care of the ACARS. The ACARS is our tracking software with which your flight is recorded. So let's go back from the dashboard to the top menu bar and click on Pegasus ACARS Client under Resources. We are now on the ACARS download page. On the right-hand side, you will find all the information on compatibility and system requirements. Directly below, you will find a list of all the plugins you still need. In our case, this is FSUIPC or XPUIPC for X-Plane. To download the program, simply press the button below. Now we just need FSUIPC or XPUIPC for X-Plane. To do this, click on Resources in the top menu bar and then on Pegasus ACARS Client. On the right side, you will find a list of individual FSUIPC or XPUIPC plugins. Download the appropriate tool by clicking on the respective name. After downloading, you now need to extract the file. After unpacking, open your XPUIPC folder. Inside, you will find another folder, an application file, and a configuration file. In the first step, open the subfolder. Here, you will find a variety of files and folders. Look for the XPUIPC configuration file and open it with your text editor program. Now, in line 5, called Server Address, you need to enter the IP address of your PC. To get this, simply search for CMD and open the command prompt. Type in ipconfig, and a list of IP addresses will appear. We only need the IPv4 address. Copy it. Paste the copied IP address into line 5 in the editor. After saving the file, go back from the subfolder to the main folder. Open the XP-wide client configuration file with your text editor. Now just paste the copied IPv4 address into line 4, named IP address of this PC, and save the file. Now, all you have to do is copy the two files and the folder from the main folder into your plugins directory in Xplane. After we have downloaded the Pegasus setup.x, we run it as administrator and install the program. As every Windows version reacts differently, we recommend that you always start ACARS as an administrator. After you have logged into ACARS with your VAMSIS profile, click on Virgin Virtual. You are now in your personal dashboard. Click on Booking on the left to check your current booking.
If all the details are correct, you can click on Start Flight to start your flight. Congratulations to you. You have not only learned how to book a flight on our site, but also how to start it in the Pegasus A cars. If you have any further questions, please feel free to ask us in the comments or on our Discord server. The entire Virgin Virtual team and I wish you a great time and a good flight at all times.